Hey guys, Nick from DJ City here. With podcasting taking off at the moment, we think this is the perfect time to put out a video on the easiest way to set up a podcast and get your content out there as easy as possible. For demonstration purposes, today here we've got the Rode NT-USB. Easiest way to get a microphone into your computer without having to go with an audio interface, USB cable straight in, set up all your drivers and you're good to go. The other way to go is if you've got an XLR mic and you like using audio interfaces, you could go with pretty much any XLR mic out there that you like the sound of and any audio interface that then plugs into your computer with the USB and you set up your drivers it's exactly the same way as a USB mic and you're also good to go. So for this demonstration we've got the NT-USB by Rode plugged into Audacity. You can use any DAW or software to record your audio. We've got Audacity here because it's a nice easy and free software. We have installed all the drivers already for our Rode USB mic so all we need to do is go into the inputs here select the Rode NT-USB and that's going to tell Audacity that we want to record with the Rode mic. Then you want to add a new track, jump up to tracks, add new, go with a mono track because microphones will just record into a single mono track. Click where you want to start, hit the record button and you're recording. So if I move towards the mic a little bit here, you can see the waveforms are working at a nice level. What you want to do is just make sure with the meter at the top there that you're not in the red and clipping. So we're at a nice safe level there. So say what you need to. Once you're done, hit the stop button. So now we've got a nice take. So with this, you can do a few things. If you've got bits and pieces where you know you said um or you want to cut bits out, you didn't like a take, it is really as simple as clicking where you want. Let's say I want to get rid of this portion here because I was just stumbling and it's going to read better. Highlight that, click and drag, hit the backspace button and it'll just delete and create a nice clean edit. Other nice little things you can do is adding fades in and out of your audio. So at the end here, if I wanted this audio to fade out, I could just highlight that, go up to effect on the top and you've got fade in, fade out. So I want to do it out on here. So that's going to bring the audio down and make it a bit cleaner. Lots of different effects in here that you can do to clean up your audio and make it sound a bit interesting, but you're just doing straight up vocals. That's pretty much all the essentials you'll need to do. The other effect you may want to add to make your vocals sound nice and level would be a compressor. To explain this very quickly, when we add a compressor in effect, what we're doing is we are taking the loud parts of your vocal, squashing them down slightly, and then taking the quiet parts and slowly bringing those up. So this is Audacity's compressor. We're not gonna go into what all the settings do at this point. If you're interested in learning all the nitty gritty details of what a compressor would do and what an equalizer would do, definitely leave us a comment. We'd be happy to help with this in another video. Once you're happy with your final mix, what you wanna do is export this into an audio file that you can then upload to any of your platforms. Easiest way to do this, head up to file, click export, Gives you a few options for what audio file you want to do. Best one to do for podcasts is an MP3. Gives you a smaller file and nice and easy to deal with. Put this anywhere you want on your PC. Call it what you want. Hit save. We've already made one call this, but we're going to replace it. You can fill all these details in with what you need it to be. We're just going to click enter today and you'll find it on your desktop. From there, you'd submit your MP3 file to your podcast distribution services. For more information on where you'd upload that into the distributors, check out the description. We've got our blog that we've written up all of this info on. You can have a read of that and find all the links in there. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, make sure you hit thumbs up and subscribe. If there's anything else you'd like to learn about, make sure you let us know in the comments and we'll see you next time.